we are all signed up to delivering affordable energy in the longer term, being protected and insulated as much as we can from global commodity markets, but more importantly, create an infrastructure which delivers um, less CO2 at the end of the day and provides growth. So my simple message is we have debated different solutions and we have great opportunity. It's now how to implement this and to implement it quickly so that investors have the clarity and the certainty they do need to make these huge financial commitments. It is important that we have a government that really looks end to end. This is not an isolated subject. This is a subject that goes through every single part of public policy. Now, we need to have a low carbon economy and we in the UK have the opportunity to be first. What I hope the government will do is to understand that you have to work with consumers, business and government hand in hand. We are not opposing parties. We have issued a report four years ago and there was a report that said from the CBI to the, to the society at large, it's all our case. It's not just for one sector, it's for everyone. We need to work together. I think the government's current approach is like the cure its egg. It's good in parts. Uh, part of the problem, I think, is that sometimes we're not seeing enough joined up thinking. We're seeing adjustments being made to policy after the event when there are unintended consequences realised. So as, for instance, energy intensive users, we saw a big downside to the introduction of carbon floor pricing which is of itself a sensible policy because we need it for, for instance, new nuclear investment, but they hadn't thought through the impact of that on energy intensive sectors and are having to introduce post-event corrections for the energy intensive sector. And I think a bit more forward thinking would help. I think the key thing for the government is to really think through strategically what it wants to achieve in developing a low carbon economy. If you look at Germany or France, they tend to start these debates by thinking how can we work uh, to make this work for industry because industry is going to lead this change. I think too often in the UK industry is too much of an afterthought rather than a forethought. So if there's one big message for me for the, to the government it would be start by thinking how we are going to develop an industrial policy that creates a new green economy.